Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. This episode, we're going to be talking about sages. Now, we're going to be talking about what sages are, potentially their impact in the future games, and where it's looking like the franchise is going with them. Because even though sages have now been a part of the franchise for the past three main title releases since Black Flag, it seems like there is still a little bit of confusion on the real specifics of what makes up a sage. Now, pretty much the best way to explain a sage in its simplest form is sages are the human reincarnation of Aita, an Isu who is the husband or was the husband of the main antagonist now of the modern day in Assassin's Creed, first Civ member scientist Juno. Sages are born pretty much as normal humans, possess their normal memories, normal personalities, however deep within their DNA they do possess the memories of Aita himself that usually manifest themselves as visions throughout their life, as seen with Roberts in Black Flag and Germain in Assassin's Creed Unity. Normal humans pretty much have like a small trace of first civilization DNA. I think it's between like 0.0002 and 0.0005% of their DNA has first civ in it. However, sages actually have 5 to 6% of their DNA in their ge genome that is first civ. So that's a big difference for sages. We have a double helix DNA, or what is called double helix, whereas sages have triple helix DNA, which comes from that first civilization DNA that we've seen throughout the Assassin's Creed modern day titles. Now this all pretty much began from when Aita died. This is when Juno was trying to find out ways to save the world before the Toba catastrophe. We actually saw her explain this part of the story in Assassin's Creed 3 when she's showing all the different methods of salvation they attempted before the Grand Temple and the world was pretty much destroyed and Juno was trapped. Juno tried transferring Aida's consciousness into a synthetic body so it could survive the sun's solar flare. Similar to Consus who created the Pieces of Eden did when he put his own consciousness into a Shroud of Eden. So Juno was trying to recreate the work of Consus and doing this however Aida died in the process. However, before Juno was trapped in the Grand Temple, she managed to manipulate the human genetic code and have like this random trigger that's hidden that would have Aita's consciousness implanted into humans and would trigger randomly at different times. Now, I think there's something like eight sages that Absurgo have discovered throughout history, though they've inferred that there may very well be a lot more throughout history that have never been really recorded or discovered as of yet. Now this is where the Phoenix Project came in, that has been something that's been around since Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, we weren't sure what it was, and people even thought it was like a title, however, it's an Abstergo project in the lore of Assassin's Creed, where they're trying to recreate an Isu genetic map so they can unlock the secrets of the Pieces of Eden. We saw this in Assassin's Creed Unity, where we saw these Abstergo videos, and it's kind of explaining what the Phoenix Project is, what they're trying to achieve, and even in Syndicate, we saw that the Absurgo Doctor was actually trying to create an actual Isu, an actual first civilization member in these test tubes using you know, the box and the Shroud of Eden and all these different things. But by finding sages, they have better access to these genetic codes and the genomes of first civ since sages have such a high concentration of first civilization DNA more than any other human. Now this was first discovered back when John from IT was killed in Black Flag and they were able to use his genetic code and really figure out, oh my god, this is what sages are, this is what we can do with the sages DNA and that's why this big search came out for the sages and that modern day pointless story happened in Unity where the assassins were looking for sages to stop Abzoga from finding sages yet no one needed that sage in Germain because his body was all deteriorated and it was a waste of a game. But pretty much what it seems like they're doing is Abstergo and the Assassins are finding sages through history, try to come up with that DNA, and really it's just a race against time between Abstergo and the Assassins. The Assassins trying to stop Abstergo's work and plans from unlocking those secrets of the Pieces of Eden and Consus's work. 
So that's pretty much what sages are. Now I've talked about the potential for sages in the future. Now, obviously we know there's a character, someone related to Desmond, potentially Desmond's son is what I think it is, that is a sage that we've known about from syndicates, hidden messages, and audio files, and potentially there's a lot that can be done, especially if the future protagonist is a sage. How far back with that DNA can you relive? Can you relive a first civilization member's DNA in the Animus? Can you go further back than ever before? That's the impression we've got from the Phoenix Project and the real lore inside Assassin's Creed. And there's a potential there either for Abstogo to continue to use sages and find sages to create an Isu themselves, be able to build their own pieces of Eden, and they don't need any more search for pieces of Eden like they used to. That'll be like an ancient thing they used to do back in the old Assassin's Creed games. Now they can create them themselves, which would be insane, and Abstogo would pretty much dominate the world easily with that sort of technology. So it's definitely something that needs to be stopped. So potentially it'll just be a race against time to find sages and stop Abstergo's work. Or it really is the ability to use Desmond's son or a sage to relive memories further back than ever before to discover some secrets. Maybe to stop Juno perhaps, that's a huge thing, especially if it has Aita's memories. We could have ways to stop Juno and this first Civ stuff going on. There's a lot of implications for sages, especially if it becomes a playable protagonist in the modern day or we just explore that more with modern day storylines in the future. I really do hope there is a playable protagonist now that Assassin's Creed is rejuvenating itself by the looks of it and revitalizing itself with this time off. Hopefully we can get that playable protagonist. Hopefully we can get that real modern day storyline that grabs our interest and has real implications in this storyline that we care about. That's the hope there for the sages. Now, of course, that implies a lot of things about Consus and his work with the Peace of Eden, that's a lot of discoveries we will be having and I'm pretty sure the next time I do a video of Assassin's Creed The Truth, we'll be looking at Consus, who he is, what he did, how he created the Peace of Eden that we know of so far, his effect so far on the franchise of Assassin's Creed and the lore and amongst that. It came up on the Kill Connor Club podcast uh, on episode 17, we talked about that and some people didn't really know who Consus even was. I didn't know a huge amount about him, like I know a lot of his story, but I didn't know about his implanting inside Pieces of Eden, so that's something I want to make a video on and explore a bit further. And since we've pretty much now looked at these sages, the implications of sages in the future of the franchise, I'd like to look at what really Absurgo is trying to do with these Pieces of Eden by creating them, how these Pieces of Eden were created, and what Consus did and how these can all kind of connect together. So that's the next Assassin's Creed The Truth video. Let me know what you think of this one. I hope it helped kind of really put things in perspective of what sages are. It helped you really understand a bit more about sages, because I know sometimes it can be a bit confusing and you think this and you know a little bit, be like, oh, that all fits together. Yeah, now I get it. So hopefully that helped you guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Assassin's Creed The Truth. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.